Has anyone out there been wanting to see a very elusive ring doll head named Boyce, number 24? Because I got that today. I'm going to make some of your dreams come true. You're going to see it. Finally. It's been out for so long, but people are just finally starting to get their Boyce dolls in. Mine's just a head. I apologize for that. I bought it as a painting prop and um, um, and I hope, I hope against hope that it's going to look just the way I need it to look like a character that I have invented and have been trying to paint for a long long time and I really hope that it will look the part. It seems to look the part when I look at those photos and when I look at the 3D rotation video that's right here on YouTube. Ring doll voice. Number 24. This head seems to be so elusive that it's it's not even on their website as a, um, a head that you can buy. It doesn't show like the unpainted head. They told me that was because they haven't had time to put the head on their website. <laughs> so I have been struggling big time uh, with trying to look at this head. I, I bought it. I mean, there's a lot of photos. Don't get me wrong. And there's that rotational video, which ultimately helped me to make up my mind. But it's has been a really hard choice in getting in figuring out if I want this head. So I thought I'd, ooh, I thought I'd sample it by, um, by, um, uh, just buying the head and I can use it as a painting prop. I don't necessarily need the body to make paintings. The head, you know, I, I have other, other boy bodies that I can use, even though I think the ring doll number three body is great <laughs> and I really want one bad. But, um, that, yeah, it's, it's not something I need right now, but the head was something I felt I needed right now, and I have held off all of my paintings and all of my practice because I've just been waiting for this head. I've just been wanting to set it up on a stand and just, like, do studies of it, you know, and, and paintings. So, yeah, you know. All right, look at this. So it finally came, and it took... Two months, uh, it took absolutely two months, if not more. I got a little comb. I'm not sure what that's for. I guess maybe for wigs, but who knows? But that's cool. I can't believe they sent me all this cool stuff with my head. I thought I, would, I wouldn't get the fun stuff. He's in normal skin and he's unpainted. There's something else I struggled with in looking at these photos. My character doesn't have tanned skin. He's pale, so... I haven't seen any, even ever since the uh, owner photos started coming out on the Google search engines, I haven't seen any photos of Boyce with normal skin that's pale. <laughs> There's a Lucifer sticker. Eh, I'm not really into the devil, so <laughs> he's, he's not my cup of tea. <laughs> but uh, here's something else that... I don't know what his theme is. He's got he's got like this uniform on and he's got a mask. It's cute, but <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I might be more into that than, than the devil. But um, here's some postcards. These are awesome. Oh, there he is again. Who wants to buy my Lucifer postcards? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's hot, but. Uh, I, I can't buy that. Sorry. I, this, that, that one's not on my wish list. That's cute. I like her. She's like a vampire hunter or something. What is going on? Cool, cool, cool. There's the guy with the uniform and the mask on his head. You're like, hurry up and get to the box opening already! Okay. I'm very, very excited and anxious to see if this doll head is what I'm looking for in a doll head. If it's not, I'll have to continue my search and I Depending on how much I like this, if I, let's say, if I hate it, I'll probably resell it. <laughs> but I'm, I have high hopes. Alright, here we go. 
Here's the bundle. There's nothing else in the box but a bunch of foam. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. I'm so excited about getting back into painting. I'm going to make a good stand for it. And uh, once I've built that stand, I'll let you I'll let you see what I've done. Oh, that smell! I have not experienced that before. Oh my gosh, she's got this little face mask. Oh my gosh, look, he's all wrapped up like the Joker. <laughs> Give me a mirror. <laughs> See if I like it. Mr. Trollblood, when he sees that and me give me referencing the Joker, he's gonna flip. <laughs> the Joker is like his one of his favorite characters. Oh! <laughs> yes! Great nose, great nose. That is a great nose. Oh my god goodness. My goodness gracious! Oh my goodness! There, the first look at boys unpainted. Look, so cute! He's got such a nice big nose! <laughs> Thumbs up for noses. <laughs> I even like his lips. I like the way his top lip looks. Cool, dude. Cool. I'm gonna get my camera out and I'm gonna do a really good photo shoot on this right after I make this video and you're going to see some good photos of this on Flickr so follow my Flickr I try to upload really helpful doll photos on Flickr so people can just sort of look and browse what do you think of that? oh my goodness every angle you know, I, I really really like it I have high hopes that this is going to look like my character and I'll be able to he'll make a really great art model for me yes I have high hopes <laughs> very much very much so he's got a big round head I think he'll be able to wear his wigs well <laughs> Ooh, there's the inside nice uh, very thick cool huh Wow! I just want to keep like, keep like wasting your time just sitting here just looking at him on the screen and talking about him. What do you think? Cool. There he is. I can't believe it. Oh, what? What am I doing? Yeah. Let me um show you something else. Now that I have the head, here's a wig. I bought this wig cheap. I uh, got it for way cheaper than I would usually get wigs like this because I bid on eBay and nobody bid against me. And I got it for like $11, but I I don't know, I don't, this probably won't be his permanent wig. It's really, it's temporary because I'm going to want him to look super, see it's blue. I'm going to want him to look like super fantastic, so... So I think that um, I'm probably going to try my hand at making an alpaca wig and dyeing it blue. So i got to come up with the perfect um, shade of the color of blue. But this is just temporary right now. Let's see how it looks. It might look too wiggy. Cool. Fits him well. He's got a nice tall forehead. Oh yeah. I, love, I like his tall forehead. What do you think? But yeah, once again, the, the fibers, they're not like, they're so thick. Thick, thick fibers. Very, very, very tough. <laughs> there you go. Not bad. He is a very, very handsome doll. He is handsome. I can't wait. And um, I didn't even buy any eyes for him yet because I wanted to check out his eye sockets and try my collection on on him to see like what his perfect eye size will be rather than just guessing or going by what the website recommends 
So, so my uh, next thing that I'm going to do, besides taking photos of this gorgeous guy, is um, here's my eye collection. I keep it in a Ferrero Rocher box. It's a good way to recycle the box, but um, if you shake it up, then the eyes will get mixed up. So it's not like the best eye box, but uh, it, it works in a pinch if you just happen to have one of these. And if you don't want to go out and buy a like bead tray, but um, eventually I'm gonna to want to get that bead tray so that my eyes won't get all <laughs> mixed up. All right, so I'm gonna try my eye collection on him and see what his absolute um, perfect um, eye size is, and then I will go place an order of um, a special kind of eye that I found on eBay and. Um, I'll give you the link if you really, if you want to go and look at these. They are um, small iris eyes. They're very low dome and very small iris because I want him to look very realistic. I want him to look totally realistic. <laughs> so um, I'm going to try that and see if that looks good. And I'm going to go place an order and I'm going to take photos and I'll get back to you guys on this doll. <laughs> I'm so excited! I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful. There he is. In case you're wanting wanting to know what he looks like outside of his werewolf makeup. <laughs> Unpainted. He's handsome. He's very he's a very attractive guy. He's attractive. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> he's cute. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. I have a doll high today. I have a doll high. Oh, see you later, guys. I want to know who stole my sandwich. Okay, guys, here's a postscript. If you want a really fast answer as to what his perfect eye size is, I think it's a 14 millimeter. And I'm going to show you. His eye sockets are very, very tiny. You, don't, you It's hard to tell. There you go. Um, what they're going to look like for, by looking at the photos or what his ideal eye uh, size will be. But I think it's 14 millimeter and I'm gonna get mine with a small iris so it's gonna look a little bit different than this. But this seems to be the perfect size. <laughs> See that it fits uh, pretty well and there's there's no there's hardly any gaps in the corners. Looks pretty good. So that's what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna order him 14 millimeter. And there he is, and if you also want to know, he wears an 8-9 wig. <clears throat> That's what I tried on him earlier in this video. And I just love the height of his head. This, I mean, I don't know if this looks weird to you guys, but um, this is actually great. <laughs> it makes the wig grip his head very well. It's like, it goes around here like this. It's got like all this to like... Like, oh, gotcha. You know, it just grabs his head, the wig. And, um, and it fits really well with the wig. And the height of his forehead, for one, it slopes backward, which is a very manly trait. And, um, and I think I need that for my character, too, which also makes him closer to being a perfect model for my character, is that, that forehead slope. It just looks perfect. It's just got like the perfect angle. It's not it's not too far backward and it's not too vertical either. It's just perfect. And the nose is perfect and I love it. <laughs> and I can't wait to do his face up. <sighs> but you know, um, you know what my um MSC is running out and I'm currently waiting on another can that's in shipment right now. So it's going to be a little while before you see a um a face-up video if that's what you want to see if you want to see him painted I can't wait to paint him but I gotta wait a little bit that there he is I can't talk any longer I'm running out of time so I'll see you guys later enjoy bye dolls have fun